You could ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? The question Mr. Eastwood asks is a relevant one, although I'm not sure he intended it to apply to decisions about your Social Security start date. There's a lot of angst about choosing a Social Security start date, but there's a bit of information that may be comforting that may help you to stop sweating your Social Security start date. Of all the vices, gambling is the one that passed me by. I know the house always wins, and therefore, I just don't gamble. But Social Security is not a gambling scheme. The house does not always win. In fact, the odds are even. The Social Security payout over the vast demographic of all recipients is the same effective value in benefits whether you take it at age 62, 70, or somewhere in between. That's right, the odds are even. This fact was a bit of a relief for me, especially in the early years approaching Social Security eligibility. That's not to discount the complexity and importance of the issues that apply to you directly, and I plan to deal with some of them in upcoming videos. But as a broad statistic, it does not matter, and to some degree, that's liberating. From the demographic perspective, the question Mr. Eastwood asked is probably the most relevant. Are you feeling lucky? Do you think you'll exceed the projected lifespan of about 20 years or not? That should guide your decision. Or if unlike the children in Lake Wobegon, who are all above average, you feel completely average, then the start date does not really matter. There are, of course, lots of issues, like will the extra income from Social Security bump you from an Affordable Care Act subsidy before you turn 65? It ignores the whole new world of income floors and ceilings and tax cliffs you'll face structuring your retirement income. It ignores what buckets you'll draw your income from first and the tax consequences of those decisions. It ignores whether a later start date will result in a larger check for a spouse or dependent, and it ignores your current income needs and personal attitudes. I'll try to address some of those issues in upcoming videos. But back to the original point. Although I understand that you are an individual from a demographic or statistical perspective, whether you start drawing Social Security at 62, 70, or somewhere in between does not really matter. The average payout will be the same. And that bit of information may help you to stop sweating your Social Security start date. I mean, you've got plenty of other things to worry about already, right? So, thank you for watching.